Hi, can you hear me? Yep, I can hear you. All right, perfect. <coughs> so, screen share. Good, because I don't want to look at my face. But All right. Can you see it? Is it good? Yep, you're all set. Can you see it? A little bit. There we go. You got it? Okay. <laughs> So I'm doing the Lakewood Blue Closets where I work all summer, every day of my life. This is the so stadium. The <laughs> you good? Okay. So this is the stadium. The picture is pretty much the front entrance. That is the third base gate entrance. There's also one for the first base gate. Um, it's located in Lakewood, New Jersey. It's called First Energy Park. And it holds upwards of 8,000 fans. That's what we cap it at now, but we've had about 10,000 fans in there at one point. This is a panoramic view of the field itself. So from the balcony, you have end to end. That's like our concourse level, and it actually goes all the way around, and there is a bar in center field. We have, I want to say, about... 10 different sections of seating. We have three different picnic areas that I'll get into and a whole bunch of stuff. So our food and be our food and beverage department, which I work in, is made up of five people. We have our director of food and bev, who is Mike, our catering manager, Mariah, our concourse manager, Greg, our head chef is Mel, and then I'm the concessions manager. We're at the stadium every day during the summer. We normally don't get to do that. We do 70 games, extra events. We feed the players and coaches when they're there and a lot more. And then even though we have, like, our own jobs, we do help each other out in every way possible. So my job as a concessions manager, there's a list of things that I do. Some of them are the inventory. I organize the stands. I now do payroll and scheduling. I work the extra events and bring people in for them. Um, I train people, interview people, and then hire them, set up and break down the stadium equipment maintenance, and then just assist the food and beverage department with everything that needs to be done. Jack, Jack you your favorite job. Say that again? What's your favorite job? My favorite thing to do, it sounds really weird, but I actually love setting the stadium back up after the winter because we get to clean everything like the right way and kind of get to put it back to where we want it to be. Okay. So this is our, we have like a little food and beverage area. It's off of the third base concession stand, so it's separate from our front office and sales floor. Um, it has our punching clock, has lockers for the game day staffers, it has our office, the main kitchen's there, there's about five walk-ins, our dry warehouse, and our cages that hold product and liquor. So the picture on the left-hand side is our cages, which we have liquor in them, anywhere from whiskeys to all our vodka. We have all our wines, and then our other three after that are like our Oreos, our funnel cake mixes, all our candies, cases of peanuts, stuff like that. The center picture is our punching clock where everyone signs in and out every day. And then the picture on the right is actually my little desk area, the one with all the pictures on it because I like to decorate everything. <laughs> And then as far as the concession stands go, which I work in, there's one on first and third base, and they're both actually mirrored, so the front is pretty much the same on the first base side and third base side along with the back. Um, we have a variety of menu items and actually new changes for 2016, including putting pork roll on the menu. We have a front of house and back of house. The front has 12 registers, and then there's one different on each side. Third base has the register for Horizon, which is our healthy menu, and first base has the soft serve area. Um, we use a point of sale system, and then for on a game night, I oversee about 36 employees because there's about 18 in each stand. And this is pretty much what both stands look like. The, the first picture is the back of house. Um, we have two grills. One's a flat top. One is like a normal grill that you would get like the grill marks on a burger for. We have two ovens. There are two door ovens. We have four fryers. We have a warmer for some food. We have all our bibs, which are bag in a box sodas. We have a walk-in, two shelving units, and we actually just got new. Behind me would be the three-bay sink 
um, in the picture. And we actually just got a new product from Ecolab, which is super exciting. And then the other picture is the front of house. So you have all the registers lined up. In between two of them, you have a soda machine. And then on the back wall, it's pretty much mirrored the same. You have two open warmers for tenders and fries. You have a hot dog warmer, two soda coolers, two pretzel machines, two cheese machines. So one side goes to the one side to get all their stuff so they don't have to walk back and forth. And then this is our point of sale system just like a step-by-step -step process in a sense. The first picture is the main screen where you sign into it and you pay into it for your own name, so you're in charge of all your money. The second screen and the third screen are menu options. We're actually in the process of reorganizing them better, so combos are going to all be together, all the beverages are going to be together, and then all the food's going to be in one area instead of having to go back and forth. Do you know what software you use? Say that again? You know what software you use for your point of sale system? Um, it's actually called a POS system, but it's under like Microsoft. Oh, okay. So like it goes through that, but it's actually called like point of sale system. Oh, I've never heard of that. Yeah. Um, we're act we're getting it redone right now, like this week. So it'll make it a lot easier for all our cashiers. And then the last screen is our pay screen. So after you send the order through you can do cash, credit, or gift cards. And then they either get a receipt or they don't. It really depends on what the customer wants. And then just to briefly go through what else we do in the food and bev department, we have all the stuff on the concourse. I don't really necessarily work on the concourse, but I have done it before and I have helped out. So we have food portables such as the burger sand, cheese steak, funnel cakes, popcorn. We have beer portables. We have two beers of the world, four draft beers, and a craft brew house. We have ice cream portables, so we have two hand dips, two mini melts, Italian ice, and soft serve. Under our snack portables, we have snack one, and then Hawaiian ice, and then we have our vendors, which are actually called hawkers um, in like the baseball world, I guess you could say. And then we also have the rat trap and three picnic areas. So just some pictures of the concourse. The first one is, we call it the three, ami the three amigo stands um, because they're all in order and they're all right behind home plate. So there's only ever three of them there, and that's burger, sauce, and Philly. And then the other picture is our popcorn stand, which was actually just newly wrapped last year with, like, all the red and, like, the Colonel's, cor Colonel's Corner on there. And then the first picture on here is one of our beer portables. There are six taps um, on each kegerator. So we have a front port, so that'll hold six different beers. And then our side port will also hold six different beers. Our middle picture is ice cream. That's one of our hand dip locations. And then Snack Hut 3 is the last picture, which is mainly Hawaiian ice, but we also do churros out of there, pretzel braids and bites. Um, a whole array of candy, and just other fun stuff. And then we have our upstairs level. So in our upstairs level, we have the bar and our upstairs club restaurant. We have our Blue Claws Executive Conference Center, our Mammoth Medical Center Champions Club, and then we have suites 201 or 207 on the first base side and 212 to 220 on the third base side. And then capping each balcony level, we have a party deck. The first picture here is the Mammoth Medical Center Champions Club. This is for bigger group outings. They do have balcony seating up there. Um, we usually put out chafing dishes of food for them and high top tables. They also have a bar, so if they did want bar service in there, they can have that option. The center picture is the conference center. We use this for holiday parties, seminars, conferences. Um, this is set up classroom style. We had a conference come in, and they were all facing the projector because they had a presentation. So we can pretty much set that up any way. Um, the rooms are just kind of awkward because the stadium starts to bend, so we have, like, really awkward walls. So we try our best to fit as many people as we can. We had a Christmas party with 85 people in there, so that was pretty tight because they wanted round tables. And then the last picture is our upstairs club slash bar area. Um, before the game, season ticket holders will come up there. And we'll have like a more limited menu, but it's 
more like specialty burgers, fries, like appetizers and stuff like that. And there's eight high tops in there. And then like behind me in that picture would be about four different booths that you can sit at. And then the bar area is right um, to the right of the picture. And that's open throughout the game. And then just some events that we have done and that I have taken part in. We do weddings, holiday parties, conferences and seminars, banquets. We do walks, like an autism awareness walk. We do flea markets, the RV show, and then we have our Blue Claws Amateur Baseball League. And then some special days that Food and Bev actually takes a part in. Um, every Sunday and Monday we have kids eat free, so they get a voucher for a hot dog, chips, and a soda. We have All You Can Eat, which is, I want to say, about 10 games per season. And they now get, like, a little snack book this year because we changed that up. Um, every Thursday home game we have $1 Coors and Coors Light drafts at the Rat Trap. And then promotional time. Promotional nights we're taking part in this year. We have Harry Potter night. We're making butter beer. We're doing a luau, so we're doing a pig roast, like Hawaiian style meal. For Women's Expo, we're doing wraps and wine. Irish Heritage night, we're doing corned beef and cabbage, and then green beer. And then Oktoberfest, um, Kate May Brewery is coming in, and we're doing Bavarian <coughs> pretzels. And then lastly, some of the vendors that we work with. Um, Short Point Distribution is our beer distributor. Somerset Syrup does a lot of like our specialty items like our churros and stuff like that. Um, hers is our chips. We deal with Philly water ice and we get our Italian ice with them and our hand dip ice cream. Cisco is our main provider. We go through them for mostly everything because um, we get like all our stuff from the warehouse and then Mini Melts is also another ice cream we use. 